The Jnanpith Award is an Indian literary award presented annually by the Bharatiya Jnanpith to an author for their outstanding contribution towards literature. Instituted in 1961, the award is bestowed only on Indian writers writing in Indian languages included in the Eighth Schedule to the Constitution of India and English, with no posthumous conferral. From 1965 till 1981, the award was given to the authors for their most outstanding work and consisted of a citation plaque, a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees equivalent to 48 lakh rupees or $66,000 in 2017, and a bronze replica of Saraswati, the Hindu goddess of knowledge and wisdom. The first recipient of the award was the Malayalam writer G. Sankara Kurup who received the award in 1965 for his collection of poems, Otakujal, the Bamboo Flute, published in 1950. The rules were revised in subsequent years to consider only works published during the preceding 20 years, excluding the year for which the award was to be given and the cash prize was increased to 1.5 lakh rupees equivalent to 22 lakh rupees or $30,000 in 2017 from 1981. As of 2015, the cash prize has been revised to 11 lakh rupees equivalent to 12 lakh rupees or $16,000 in 2017 and out of 23 eligible languages the award has been presented for works in 16 languages, Hindi 11, Kannada 8, Bengali 6, Malayalam 5, Gujarati, Marathi, Odia, and Urdu 4 each, Telugu 3, Assamese, Punjabi, and Tamil 2 each, English, Kashmiri, Konkani, and Sanskrit 1 each. The award has been conferred upon 58 writers including 7 women authors. In 1976, Bengali novelist Ashapurna Devi became the first woman to win the award and was honored for the 1965 novel Pratham Pratisruti, the first promise, the first in a trilogy. The most recent recipient of the award is English fiction writer Amitav Ghosh who was awarded for the year 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background The Bharatiya Jnanpith, a research and cultural institute founded in 1944 by industrialist Sahu Shanti Prasad Jain of the Sahu Jain family, conceived an idea in May 1961 to start a scheme, commanding national prestige and of international standard, to select the best book out of the publications in Indian languages. Later in November, Rama Jain, the founder president of the Bharatiya Jnanpith, invited a few literary experts to discuss various aspects of the scheme. Jain, along with Kaka Kalelkar, Harivansh Rai Bachchan, Ramdari Singh Dinkar, Jainendra Kumar, Jagdish Chandra Mathur, Prabhakar Makwe, Akshaya Kumar Jain, and Lakshmi Chandra Jain, presented the initial draft to the then president of India Rajendra Prasad, who had shown interest in the scheme's implementation. The idea was also discussed at the 1962 annual sessions of the All India Gujarati Sahitya Parishad and the Bharatiya Bhasha Parishad. On 2 April 1962, around 300 writers of various Indian languages were invited to Delhi for the two sessions conducted by Dharamvir Bharati, in which the draft was finalised and later presented to Prasad. The first award selection committee meeting was scheduled on 16 March 1963 and Prasad was appointed as its president. However, Prasad died on 28 February 1963 and thus the scheduled meeting was chaired by Kalelkar and Sampranan and acted as president of the committee. The first selection board consisted of Kalelkar, Niharanjan Ray, Karan Singh, R. R. Diwakar, V. Raghavan, B. Gopal Reddy, Harakrishna Mahatab, Rama Jain, and Lakshmi Chandra Jain and was headed by Sampranan. Works that were published between 1921 and 1951 were considered for the first award. The nine language committees that were formed were to submit to the board nominations along with translations of the work into Hindi or English. The final round had four authors, Kazi Nazrul Islam Bengali, D. V. Gundapa Kannada, Viswanatha Satyanarayana Telugu, and G. Sankara Kurup Malayalam. On 19 November 1966, Kurup was presented with the citation, Statue of Saraswati, and a check for prize of 1 lakh rupees equivalent to 43 lakh rupees or $60,000 in 2017 at a ceremony held at Vigyan Bhavan, Delhi. In his acceptance speech, Kurup appreciated the concept of the new award and thanked it for bringing integration of the diverse people of this land on a spiritual plane. Topic. Rules and selection process 
The nominations for the award are received from various literary experts, teachers, critics, universities, and numerous literary and language associations. Every three years, an advisory committee is constituted for each of the languages. The language of the most recent recipient's work is not eligible for consideration for the next two years. Each committee consists of three literary critics and scholars of their respective languages. All the nominations are scrutinized by the committee and their recommendations are submitted to the Jnanpith Award Selection Board .The selection board consists of between 7 and 11 members of high repute and integrity. Each member is part of the committee for a term of three years which can also be extended further for two more terms. The recommendations of all language advisory committees are evaluated by the board based on complete or partial translations of the selected writings of the proposed writers into Hindi or English. The recipient for a particular year is announced by the selection board, which has final authority in selection. List of recipients See also Mordi Devi Award, another annual literary award conferred by the Bharatiya Jnanpith. Notes <laughs>